she was my french lecturer i did not know that she is much, so much a talented after seeing this article in newspaper i read it and kept it away but uh, i wanted to write few sentences about her found that it is very uh, minimal thing so i am just reading out what is uh, printed in the newspaper and she is very very jovial and dynamic uh, personality she is multifaceted and her name is uh, krishna kashinath as we know but uh, more details are given here she is multifaceted a french lecturer an all india radio artist a movie dubbing artist a child actor and a classical dancer and also she is a writer she is krishna kashinath better known as moksha gundam or vavil kolanu krishna kumari krishna kumari hails from a family of academicians her father vavil kolanu venkata ramana rao studied law and worked with the hindu religious endowments board her mother padmasini was the first lady senate member of andhra university when sarvepalli radhakrishnan was its vice chancellor padmasini had another distinction along with her brother nemali krishnamurthy she was among the first few students to learn to sing janagana mana from rabindranath tagore himself who had set a tune to his bengali lyric on february 28 1919 at madanapalli Tagore had gone there at the invitation of the Irish poet James H Cousins who was also the principal of Beecent Theosophical College Madanapalli Krishna Kumari's entry into the tinsel world was rather unexpected when she was 7 she found herself acting alongside celebrities like Bhanumati Ramakrishna in Tahsildar in 1944 I was learning dance from the legendary Rukmini Devi at Kalakshetra at that time. Producer director YV Rao was on the lookout for a child actor to play the hero sister. He was my father's friend and my father could not refuse his offer. So that was the only film I have acted. It is a good role and the teasing song Aha E Manduni Chinna Vadina which myself rendered and acted is remembered even today. This film brought me closer to Bhanumati and the friendship continued till her passing away she recalls Incidentally it was Krishna Kumari who translated Bhanumati's Ramakrishna's autobiography Nalo Nenu to English titled Musings Later she became more popular as a dubbing artist Much before that it was All India Radio that helped me hone my skills through its place I had the opportunity of participating in radio plays along with stalwarts. It was Atluri Pundari Kachaya who introduced her to NT Ramarao who was in such of a suitable voice to dub for B Saroja Devi in the film Panduranga Mahachyam. I have also dubbed for Saroja Devi in NTR's Sita Rama Kalyana. NTR was so dedicated to his work and his film it is inspiring. though he need not be present when i was dubbing for saroja devi's character in both these films as he had already completed his work he still used to be at the mic delivering his dialogue along with me when i asked him why he was doing this he replied i want to i want you to get into the right mood of the character if i also dub with you it will be easier for you to carry on the right emotions in your voice Raj Kapoor's Prema Lekhalu Ah in Hindi in which I dubbed for Nargis was another movie I cherish Arudra and K Ramalakshmi are family friends and the offer came through Arudra I was in my final year of college and since the examinations are fast approaching I said I cannot travel to Bombay so the dubbing was held at the Bharati Studios in Chennai she recalls Krishna Kumari has also lent voice to Vijayanti Mala and Padmini when their Tamil movies were dubbed into Telugu and to Telugu heroines when their films were dubbed in Tamil. 
Having been born and brought up in Chennai, I am proficient in Tamil. In fact, I had my degree from Presidency College and it was after my marriage to Motshagundam Kashinath. I did my post-graduation in French and taught French at the Vanta Mahavidyalaya, Hyderabad. Now she retired. She leads a quiet life in Shantinagar, Hyderabad, making occasional trips to USA where her two daughters live. In 2012, Krishna Kumari was felicitated for her many talents by the Hyderabad-based cultural and service-oriented organization, Sankalpa. So, this is what I found in the newspaper. Personally, we found her very cordial, amiable and friendly teacher and who is very uh, inspiring to her students. And because of her, we learned, <laughs> we wanted to join in French because we knew that she is a very good teacher. And also, she used to tell us, uh, her maternal uncle, uh, Motshagundam Visveshwaraya, uh, used to once told them after their marriage, uh, you see, don't uh, discriminate between boys and girls, child, children. Uh, because, you see, uh, girls are actually doing better. Uh, we should uh, learn from um, Gandhi's uh, four sons who are not who have not come up of much. Whereas Nehru's uh, only one daughter, Indira Gandhi, uh, is uh, at a very peak level. So it is a talent that you should look for, not for the gender. So this is she used to tell us in our classes uh, to uh, pop up our spirits. Uh, so that's how she, we, uh, she is the best uh, teacher or lecturer that we remember. Uh, and after some few years back, I have seen her in TV, uh, if, uh, talking from an old age home. And uh, she was just uh, explaining uh, her uh, situation. Of course, she is good, but she had to be there because children were at uh, in USA. Uh, but she is a very, very memorable and inspiring personality. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.